Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to this video. This vlog is gonna be kind of January studio vlog and we had some snow in Paris. It was so pretty. <laughs> it hadn't snowed in two years so it was very cool to see snow again. I worked on new stickers. Here I'm just making more business slash thank you cards to pack my orders. And here you can see me trying new stickers. So um, I've actually made these stickers from paintings that I've shown you. I think it was in my previous video or maybe two videos back. I originally made them in watercolor and then digitalized the paintings and decided to create some snow globes. I also tried to do something with the flower one that you can see on the test here but it wasn't very good so I need to work a little bit more on that but the other two the snow globes were good and the stickers look really nice so I've decided to print a lot of them and cut them with my cutting machine, my silhouette portrait too and create kits of stickers with two designs so this one is the first design and I have another one that you're gonna see in a few seconds I've used a cutter to open them on the back so that you can peel them very easily I've made different sizes of them um, just because I think it's, I don't know for you, but for me, I think I like having different sizes of the same stickers depending on where I'm going to place them and stick them. They are great for paper envelopes, notebooks, bullet journals, or even planners. And I'm very happy to be able to share them with you so that we can have the same stickers. I think that's very cool and that's another way to connect with you. So I'm here preparing some kits in advance so that I can put them on my Etsy shop. If you are interested, you have the link in the description box. Feel free to check them out. Let me know what you think of them. I would love to know what you think. Uh, that would be very interesting for me and I always love your feedbacks. They are easy to peel and easy to stick and again very good for paper, bookmarks, envelopes, notebooks, bullet journals and planners. <laughs> so I would love again to have your opinion on them and feel free to check them out. I also created some backing cards to put with the stickers in the same packaging so I decided to create them on blue paper on this dark blue and using my silver foil to add the, the info and the design and I think that looks pretty cool let me know what you think it's the same process as my bookmarks when I use some foil I've shown you that in previous videos and here is the final result of the backing cards. I'm also going to use them as thank you notes too, so that's also why I've decided to create them. Here I'm packing an order. It's this painting that I've sold so thank you thank you so much I'm glad you enjoyed this painting and I also added some stickers some new stickers because I have a few left a few leftovers so I've decided to give them to the buyer of this painting I'm adding a hook on the back of the painting so that it can be hang very easily here you can see the final packaging and yeah, I always take time to package the paintings very well so that they are very well protected for the ship. And also this one is going to Copenhagen, so the travel will be pretty long. So that's also that. And I'm so happy to know that you have some of my paintings in your home. I feel like, again, it's a connection with you, another type of connection. So. 
it's really cool for me and I'm so glad to be able to share my art and my painting with you so thank you so much I also made new paintings in January, here I'm prepping the canvases with some black and white gesso. I love painting on black background and the black gesso is really really good to prep your canvases and it looks so dark and so black so it's very good and very easy also to get a nice background. I've decided to paint some roller skates inspired by my flanners roller skate that I need to show you and show you the unboxing very soon but anyways I already painted some ice skates I think it was a year or two ago by the way that painting is also available on my Etsy shop and this one will be very soon too and here is the final result let me know what you think I think they are cute I don't want to use too many colors except in the background I wanted to stay pretty simple but maybe I can do another one soon and and if you are interested you can always order me a custom painting I also wanted to create new abstract paintings I love doing that from time to time and I wanted to do another one on a black background using some gold and white and also doing another one on a white background which I'm doing here. This time I'm using gold and black. This type of painting is very fun for me to do and very freeing because I only really think about the movement that I want to create on the paintings. It's not about the color, it's not about the shape really, but about the movement and I love that and it's almost like dancing in a way for me, so it's very cool. I used some acrylic here and I kind of use a lot of paint, so it kind of takes a long time to dry, so you have to leave it dry. I you usually leave it dry for the night because yeah i know that i've used a lot of paint let me know what you think of this one too i also wanted to do a bigger painting in the same theme and with the same colors and do something a little bit more like more a mix of it i mean i don't know if that makes sense but creating something different <laughs> of course <laughs> but something inspired by what i've done before so that's what i'm doing here and i did not really realize it yet when i was doing it but i'm actually painting a heart shape i don't know if you can see it but if you really look at the white on the painting it looks like a heart shape so I think that's very cool and that's kind of cool for Valentine's Day also. Even though I didn't do it on purpose, it's great and I love it. <laughs> I think it's very very cool and this is what I think you call intuitive art and that's definitely something that really speak with me and that I think is very interesting so let me know what you think. Here I'm varnishing the painting using some spray varnish. I usually do multiple coats and that really helps protecting the painting. Are the final paintings I had already painting also the third one the gold background with the white and black on it so here you can see the three of them together you can either buy one only or the three together like a triptych I think they look really cool in that position 
and you can also hang them in a vertical position like this in the order you want i think they look really really nice like this and i would love to know what you think and here you can see in the bigger painting see the final result let me know what you think i really really love the details i'm really happy with this one too so let me know what you think and if you are interested they are available on my shop thank you so much for watching please like subscribe turn on the notifications and i hope to see you soon in my next video bye